Welcome to Uptown Studio. This is your host, Ashley Stevens. Today, I'm with the beautiful actress and photographer, <laughs> Shanoa Maxwell. No, it's so great to have you here today on Uptown Studio. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here. You still look fantastic. Oh, please, girl. And I say still, <laughs> and I say still because I remember you in the movie from some years ago, Half Plenty. Yes. And you played Haviland. I Haviland. did. Yes. Haviland Savage. Yes. Thank you so much. Did you enjoy that movie? I did enjoy the. Do I look like a French fry to you? Do I look like a biscuit? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what, how did you get into acting? Oh, you know, it's a really interesting story. I um. I got into acting because I went to a seminar with Ian Levon's aunt, mm. and she changed my life. Really? And I decided in that very moment that I wanted to have a platform where I can help inspire and motivate and share my stories of how I, you know, went through such a hard childhood because I really had a really difficult childhood. Okay. And um, I just said, you know, I just need a platform, something that I can be creative and express myself and be honest. And I felt like if I just I don't know, I felt like acting would give it to me. So I said, I'm gonna just try acting. It was very random. It wasn't mm. like I was a child actor and I said, oh, I wanted to be an actress my whole life. Mm -hmm. I actually wanted to be a doctor. Really? Yeah. Did you pursue it? At all? I did. I, I was really a nerd. I still am. I'm a self-professed nerd, um, or geek, rather. Geek. Which is mm -hmm. why I love photography, because it really, you know, allows me to express myself, but then get all technical. Mm -hmm. But I did. I went to college. Um, I'd never finished, mm -hmm. unfortunately. But I went to college, and I, um, my uh, pre-med was my major. And it just didn't fit with my personality, to be honest. Gotcha. And you have such a bright spirit Thank about you. you. And I wanted to ask, what does your name, Shanoa, what does that mean? Shanoa means firstborn daughter. It has two meanings, actually, because I'm Native American. Okay. So Shanoa means firstborn daughter in the English language. And then in my Native American language, which is I'm Wampanoag, mm -hmm. and um, it means uh, White dove. Nice. Yeah, so. So you're meant to fly. I am meant to fly. White dove is a symbol for peace, beauty, mm -hmm. and um, flight. I like it. Yes. I so really maybe like that's it. why I'm always trying to live limitlessly because that is like in my blood, I think. Mm -hmm. So tell me about living limitlessly. How are you doing that through your photography and you've got some new shows coming out? Tell us what's going on. Well, yeah, living limitlessly. I really try to be. Um, well, first of all, I'm always trying to be a billboard for God's vision and for God's life. Mm -hmm. I, I always think that my purpose here is to really serve. Mm -hmm. And um, the closer that you can get to an alignment with He and you, the closer that you can get to your truth with yourself. Mm -hmm. And as soon as that you can start living truthfully, like for real, for real, without mm -hmm. the expectations of others, or actually trying to fit yourself into a small box that really doesn't define you, you get to actually break out and live limitlessly. And so that's my philosophy. I'm always looking for a new lens to put on my own eyes so that I can have a wider scope and a wider vision for my life. Nice. And, and that's basically what it is. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your photography work. My photography, I love my art. It, it is the thing that I live for. Okay. Um, I was, uh, I, I decided to stop acting for a while mm -hmm. and I moved to London with my husband. Nice. And while I was there, he was a workaholic and I just was always alone. And so I got an opportunity to travel ar around the world. And the only friend that I had at that moment was my camera. Hmm. So I would bring my camera along with me and I would just go, you know, global hopping, if you will. Yeah. And I started to bring back pictures to my friends in LA, and I, they would be like, what are you doing, girl? And I was like, oh, global hopping and taking pictures, bored. And mm -hmm. they would look at my images, and they said, these are really amazing images. Mm. And I've always really been into imagery. Um, when I was younger, before I started acting, I was actually like assisting Hype Williams as a camera loader. I oh, thought I was cool. going to be like a director of photography. Yeah. So photography has always been something I loved. Mm -hmm. So when I came back, they saw my images, and a friend of mine put me in a competition, and I won. Nice. And when I won and I had an opportunity to exhibit my work and have people buy it, that's when I started taking photography seriously. Mm -hmm. I enrolled myself immediately into the St. Martin, Martin's Art of School and Design in London. Mm -hmm. And I just really, really got myself really immersed in photography. What, what have you discovered about yourself through being a photographer? I think what photography does is it allows you to really, really get quiet and be a spectator in life in a way that you never would. 
Mm -hmm. You really get to find the small miracles in life because things start to unfold around you. You get to see how light plays and reveals things that you would never see or discover before. And mm -hmm. you actually get to, you, you, you become a recorder of these things, like, you know, and, and you own the treasures of moments. That's and powerful. I love that.